na swali moja in the line of audio industry your whole setup is built around your mixer and digital mixers are becoming more and more common though analog and digital mixers both have their advantages there are things that digital mixers can do that might sway audio engineers to make the switch from analog over to digital known for being incredibly flexible and user friendly a digital mixer is a smart move only if you can afford to make the upgrade when making the move from analog to digital it's important to note the jump in price an analog board will typically be more affordable than a digital board but won't offer you nearly as many features now let's be honest a digital mixer does not make sense if you just need something for the pa system for your events and shows every now and then the people who would benefit the most from making the switch to a digital mixer will be those who regularly deal with a wide variety of live audio situations i am talking about independent audio engineers so don't just acquire it for prestige and show off but only when it's essential basically it's for people who need a mixer that covers a lot of situations unless you're very prosperous so when is it that you need to have a digital mixing board there are many possibilities in a digital board made possible by the cutting edge technology needless to say digital means advanced and progressive today i will explain digital mixer benefits both analog and digital will serve well in their own capacity i use analog mixers and they are perfectly fine but i just want to do a comparison with an objective to bring to your mind how far a digital mixer can go in terms of mixing and functionality furthermore i will explore the additional features you'll get in a digital mixer so why is it important to attain one despite the fact that digital mixers are significantly more expensive for example the Allen and Heath SQ7 that i am using here is 900000 kenya shillings while its counterpart my yamaha mg24 is kenya shillings 80000 Important benefits of analog mixers is that they are a lot less complicated to use than digital mixers. They are simply made to be efficient and quick to utilize and they are reasonably priced. Even though you can often do more with a smaller digital mixer, you're paying heavily for the extra functions. There can sometimes be a wide gap in pricing between digital and analog. with analog being too much more affordable there can sometimes be a wide gap in pricing between digital and analog with analog being the much more affordable option analog mixers are hands on instant access what you see is what you get nothing is hidden you only need to learn and master a single channel strip then you're good to go in matters flexibility those that use analog mixers know that you are pretty much limited to what is physically available on the board well with a digital mixer there can be a lot more going on than just what is on the surface you have access to greater number not this a greater number of inputs auxiliary sends returns and buses more than you see on the surface for example this allen and heath sq7 has 48 input channels you can group channels easily thanks to the motorized faders and so much more some digital mixers offer quick and easy live recording solutions this means you can record multiple tracks simultaneously straight to your digital audio workstation whether live or in a studio setup this is exceptionally wonderful music producers and live recording engineers are unquestionably sorted out with this technology 
If the digital mixer you've chosen features a USB output, you can also plug directly to a computer and record directly to your favorite digital audio workstation. Engineers can take advantage of this feature by offering quality recordings of shows or events to their clients. Portability is a great benefit of digital mixers. The beauty of a digital mixer is that you're able to assign multiple functions to the buttons and knobs available. This allows you to do more in-depth work, all while taking up less real estate on your board. You're also able to limit the number of faders while maintaining the number of channels you have access to, something an analog board can't do. Analog mixers of high grade are huge in size. They're bigger, longer, and thicker compared to digital mixers. These may not be an issue if you have a large table or desk. A digital mixer means you are dealing with digital audio. Similar to digital recording, a digital mixer takes the live audio received from the microphones and converts it to a digital signal, resulting in a cleaner sound. Analog audio is more prone to interference, noise and hissing, whereas digital audio is less susceptible to these issues. Also, while analog and digital mixers both feature EQ options, most digital mixers allow you to achieve a more precise mix thanks to a visual EQ. Using your screen and the available controls, you can focus in on annoying frequencies more precisely than you could with an analog console. You can also achieve a cleaner live mix with some digital boards thanks to the onboard compressor and limiter functions. Even with clean audio and all these useful mixing features, you still need to rely on an audio engineer for a good mix. Most audio engineers will want to walk the room to make sure that the mix is nice and balanced, hitting every part of the space the right way. What digital mixers bring to the table is the option to connect to the mixer through a smartphone or tablet, allowing the engineer to mix remotely by making adjustments during the service from their sitting position. A digital mixer can link to a variety of devices. They contain a lot of connectors, so you may connect your favorite devices in a variety of ways. You'll appreciate the wide range of connectivity if you have numerous hosts on your podcast or are recording multiple instruments at the same time. This is magnificent. Music producers will attest. On top of that, digital technology slots in some extras and treats like the touchscreen, integrated LED illumination, channel LED displays, among others. The downside of digital mixers is that the learning curve on digital mixers is much higher. They are more complicated and that means it is harder for beginners to figure out how to use these mixers properly. Digital board has more control options, resulting in a more positive experience for both the engineer and the audience. In terms of what digital mixers can do, I have only scratched the surface. And about which one you should pick? First, be sure to do the necessary research, whether analog or digital. Not all mixers will offer the same features. So, it is important to find one that can do exactly what you need it to do. If you're trying to decide whether to go with a digital or analog mixer, just know one is not necessarily better than the other. Analog and digital mixers are both very popular. These both have their own sets of advantages. It will come down to your personal preference and how you plan on using the mixer. If you can, find people who are willing to show you their sound setup so you can get a feel for both types in person. Doing so could give you a much better idea of whether analog or digital is the better fit for your own needs and expectations. 
If you're on a tight budget, start with one of these and learn the ropes before upgrading to a digital mixer later.